in our community new potential, you know, but I definitely don't stand here as some uh, authority, you know, on the subject, you know. And I, and I really know that y'all here probably have so much more for me to learn from, you know. So I want to have more of a conversation than a lecture, you know, if, if that's all right with y'all. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll say uh, my angle, and my comrade M1 is going to definitely uh, get to the business. Um, you know, so my, my two cents in the conversation, I, I wanted to focus on health. Uh, because, you know, the, the so-called green movement that's led by the white left, pretty much, you know, they, they, they focus on things that I feel is abstract in a lot of ways to our community. And, uh, you know, the, the green movement as far as black people, they leave out the, the everyday issues. You know, mm -hmm. um, going green ain't nothing new for our community. You know, it's our, our natural culture uh, from Africa. It's how we survived slavery. It's how we survived sharecropping. It's how we survived with the high light bill, turn the light off, you ain't using it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, that's going green. That's something new to them. But, you know, that's common sense for us. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, but I, but I want to say what I think is missing uh, from the green movement uh, is two things. You know, when you talk about going green in a in a poor community, in a uh, economically poor community, um, you know, you can't be talking about going green without talking about getting green. Wow. You yeah. know, the uh, the economic development. Wow. You know. A lot of times we we are uh, dealing with capitalism. You know, we it's hard for us to figure out how to make green, how to develop business without copying the, the oppressor's model. Mm -hmm. You know, pimping people, and, and 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 so a lot of times we don't focus on the business, the finance. We focus on the ideology, and and we end up in a position with great ideas and no resources, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think um, when we start in a black community, when we talk about going green, first and foremost, we talk about empowering ourselves economically so that we can uh, be sustainable, as they say, right? Uh, in our own movements, you know? There's nothing wrong with create business to fund our agenda, mm -hmm. you know? In fact, you know, that's independence. Anything else is a dependency, you know, and we're going to be asking people who don't care about our community to fix our problems, you know. Um, I know I ain't telling you nothing you don't know, but I'm, I'm just reiterating it because uh, we, we need people to invest in, in, in uh, business models and, and finances as a priority, you know, um, and not like a we'll get to that back burner, you know, kind of thing. Um, and, I, and I say that. In the in the most humblest way, uh, you know, with integrity to that, there's so many more things important, more important than money. You know what I mean? Um, but it's just real, you know. And, and y'all know how it is. Any anything that we want to develop and do, it always comes down to where we gonna get the funds from. You know. So uh, that's one point I wanted to make about the green movement. Um, the second thing I wanted to make is uh, the greens in our diet. You know, and I, and I shouldn't say diet because we don't diet, we're trying to live it. You know? <laughs> but, you know, the greens, the concept of, of nutrition, health, and fitness, you know, I, I never really see a green movement addressing that. And the black community is number one in heart disease. You know what I mean? Number one in diabetes, asthma, allergies, you know, all these things related to not only the pollution in the environment, right, not only the stress that we under, but the actual food and the lifestyle as this is what I call a sad diet, the standard American diet, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so <clears throat> when we talk about going green, we're talking about upping the green intake in our, in our uh, diet, you know, in our eating habits. And, um, Resistant, you know, the convenience food, 
the fast death food, I mean the fast food. Um, and, uh, you know, really, really reclaiming our ancient culture. You know, we ain't got to go back in the past, but the truth of the matter is we already had this shit on lock. We already had it figured out. We had the science, you know. And, and how we got in the position we in today is that they robbed us of that science. They robbed us in the confidence, you know, and the access to that information. So, um, you know, diet, economic development is angles that I feel like has been missing from the green movement agenda led by white folks. And um, I think it's, it's the only way it's going to be relevant to our community is to put that in the forefront, you know. Um, a little bit about me, uh, I definitely grew up from Tallahassee, Florida, you know, born and raised, I moved to New York when I was in my 20s, but um, so I'm from the South, I'm from the neck bones and, and bacon and you know what I mean, like eat whatever, Kool-Aid with this much sugar, <laughs> um, um, you know, that was my lifestyle, you know, uh, then it, when I got old enough, you know, I started sipping out the Crown Royal bag and, and, and throwing weed and blunts and, you know, 99 cent whoppers and whatever I can afford, you know, robbing the pizza man, whatever. And, and just, just to be 100 with it, um, when I was 20 years old, I woke up one morning, went to use a step down out of my bed to use the bathroom, fell on my face, right? I looked down, my ankle was swollen up, like a, like a grapefruit or something. And I, I thought maybe I must have got bit by a spider or something, right? And uh, long story short, doctor says I had gout, right? And you know, that, where I'm from, you know, gout is supposed to be an elder condition, not the long life of destroying your body. You know? You know, I'm, I was going so hard at 20, I, I looked down and that's what's in my leg. So, um, I did a self-check. The doctor said, don't worry about it, you know, you know, give you a couple pills, you know what I mean? Keep, keep doing what you're doing. Take these, clear it up, you'll be all right, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, sometimes the, the worst situations have the best outcomes, though. Uh, because I had, it, it put me on uh, a crossroad, you know, and uh, I, I really truly had to rely on our culture. I was living in Brooklyn at the time in a, in a Rasta community. Um, my wife uh, is a vegan, was a vegan and, a, and studying to be a holistic health counselor at the time. And uh, she said, uh, you know, we, don't, we ain't got to get on the drugs and all that. But what you got to do is, you know, boom, boom, boom. And so she laid it out for me. Then I said, well, if I could get my leg back, you know, in operation, you know, I, I want to I use it. You know, so I, I signed up for a Kung Fu class, right? About six years later, I'm breaking a board with my foot, that same foot that was swollen up. I'm a vegan. I'm working out six days a week. You know what I mean? And now I got a son who's eight and was born vegan in my hands. I'm in a hospital, you know. And uh, so I give thanks and I know that, you know, our culture got the answers to heal ourselves and my own life. You know what I mean? I know that, um, I know it's not a joke. I, don't, I ain't got no endorsement. Nobody ain't paying me to promote no healthy gadgets and all that. You know, um, it's just real, and I and I care about our people. You know, my mom's got diabetes. She lived with me. You know, my mother-in-law lived with me. She got multiple sclerosis. You know what I mean? We dealing with it every day, and it's and it's our addiction and our lack of discipline and our lack of knowledge. You know that cause us to suffer thing, you know, from these things. So um, I'm on a mission, I'm on a worldwide mission to be a vessel, a, a vehicle, uh, to motivate, hopefully, uh, our people if I can, 
we, we're developing a, a program called RBG Fit Club.